This is the EcoFlow River 3, and it's one of the most popular power stations on the market right now. Not only is it portable, but its compact and lightweight build is enough to power my entire workstation for up to 9 hours. Join me in this review as I break down everything the River 3 has to offer, from hands-on performance tests to all the features this unit provides. At the end of the video, we'll decide whether or not this is something worth picking up. With that said, let's get into the video. If you'd never use a power station like this, then you can think of it as a giant power bank with multiple outlets while remaining portable. It lets you run or charge devices anywhere without it being plugged into an outlet. You can charge your phone, run a router, power a fan, or even keep a mini workstation going just from this alone. With that in mind, let us do a quick overview of what this has to offer. The River 3 is powered by a 245 watt hour battery with a native output of 300 watts. With the EcoFlow's X Boost, it claims that it can push out 600 watts for powering higher demand appliances, but this is false. It doesn't magically turn this into a 600 watt station. What it does is allow the system to run certain high wattage appliances at reduced performance by lowering their voltage. They'll turn on, but it won't run at full power. For connectivity, you get 6 output ports in total, with support for AC, solar, and car charging. It even works as a UPS or uninterruptible power supply, which means that if your power does go out, it will automatically switch over to battery power in under 20 milliseconds to prevent your device from losing connection. Now let's take a look at the design. The River 3 is pretty compact overall, measuring just over 10 inches tall, 8 inches wide, and weighing just about 7.8 pounds. It's not pocket sized by any means, but is light enough to carry with one hand, and the built in handle makes it easy to move around the house or take with you on the go. The outer shell is made from a durable, impact resistant plastic with a smooth matte finish. It's rated IP54, so it can handle light dust and occasional splashes, but it's not weatherproof, so you'll want to avoid using it in the rain or leaving it in direct sunlight for long periods. It's best suited for indoors or used for quick setups outside when conditions are dry. One thing I do like is how clean and minimal the design is. There's nothing flashy about it, but it looks and feels like something built for reliability. All the ports and buttons are clearly labeled, and the display is bright and easy to read. Alright, let's get into the ports and outlets included. Up front, you got two USB-A ports, one USB-C, a power button, and a main status display. This display gives you real-time info like battery percentage, input output wattage, and estimated time remaining. On the left side, we have a 12 volt car socket output, useful for powering devices like an air compressor, cooler, or other 12 volt accessories. On the right side, you get two standard AC outlets, one three prong and one two prong. On the side, there's a latch that you can open, which is the input port for recharging the unit. This is where you're gonna connect either a wall outlet or solar panel for charging. All the buttons are tactile, and you get dedicated on and off switches for each power section, the DC, USB, and AC. So you can freely control what's active and save power when you don't need everything running. For this segment, we're gonna be doing some hands-on tests to see how it performs, and demonstrate some of its uses with devices and appliances. If you're watching on YouTube, this is all categorized within the chapters for easier referencing. First, let's power on the station and see what we're working with. Here we have the unit at 38% battery while idling. The system is estimated around 32 hours of standby time. Next, we're going to be charging some devices like a smartphone. Using USB-C, the phone drew around 12 watts and showed fast charging. At 71% battery on the phone, it's estimated 41 minutes to fully charge. Switching over to USB-A, this dropped the draw to 3 watts and the phone estimated 1 hour and 21 minutes to full. When it comes to charging the River 3, this is pretty simple. We'll open the latch on the side and connect the power cables from here into a wall outlet. This is the fastest way to charge this power station since you're getting an input of 320 watts. Since it's already at 39% battery, this will fully recharge in 33 minutes. A full charge from 0 to 100% will only take an hour. The River 3 it does have other ways of recharging including solar charging which supports up to 110 watts input. This can top up the unit in as little as 2.6 hours depending on your sunlight conditions. Car charging works too, pulling in around 100 watts with a full charge estimated at 2.8 hours. All chargeable extensions does come included with the River 3 with the exception of the portable solar panel being an additional purchase. Running a mid-power shredder using the AC outlet on a power station, we were getting between 150 watts to 300 watts drawn. Starting at 41% battery, the estimated runtime hovered between 30 minutes to an hour depending if the shredder was running consistently. Next, we're going to be running some lights, starting with this desk lamp. On max brightness, it pulled in 18 watts, showing 4 hours of runtime from 40% battery. Lowering the brightness did stretch it out to around 12 hours. 
Running two bulbs at max brightness pulled in 21 watts, giving roughly 4 hours of runtime at 40%. The last and most important thing that I wanted to showcase is powering an entire workstation setup. This includes a monitor, mini PC, audio interface, XLR microphone, a mouse, and a keyboard. With this all included, it was drawing around 55 watts. At 38% battery, we were getting roughly around 1 hour of runtime. While running the full setup, I did plug in the River 3 for charging. It was taking in around 375 watts of input and still only needing 33 minutes to fully recharge. So what this tells me is that you can charge and use it simultaneously without any issues. Another important thing to note is the sound and if this power station makes a lot of noise. When the station is in use, there's an indicator showing that the fan icon is spinning on the display. I recorded a live feed to give you an idea of the noise levels. The only time that you do hear any noise is when my PC was on, and that was coming from the fans from the PC itself. Even after shutting everything off while the power station was still running, it's impressive to see how quiet this device is while remaining effective. Finally, I'm curious to see what the numbers look like when I get the station fully recharged. At 100% battery, the EcoFlow River 3 can idle up to 85 hours. Since I mainly plan to run this to power a portable workstation with my full mini PC setup, I was able to get between 5 to 9 hours of runtime. 9 hours being a consistent 20 watt draw and around 5 hours when pushing 50 watts. While fully functional, I think overall I'm probably just better off using a laptop for the sake of conveniency. The River 3 also works with the EcoFlow application which gives you wireless access to monitor usage, check battery levels, and adjust settings like output modes or firmware updates. But to be completely honest, I've been using the full range of features on this unit without ever needing the app. After trying out the River 3 out firsthand, there are a few pros and cons that I wanted to mention that might be worth considering. Starting out with the pros, here's what stands out to me. First and foremost, the build quality is solid and the compact size being lightweight makes it portable and easy to carry around. The display is clear and easy to read and you can simply see what's being displayed and understand what it means. I like the amount of ports provided giving you a lot of options to work with. The greatest feature of all is a blazing fast recharging speed. I can easily plug this into the wall and get it fully charged within an hour. Although I won't rely on it much, the UPS mode can be a savior for those that want to keep their device running in case of a power outage. In terms of the cons, the downside to me is that the AC outlets are placed way too close together. If you're using bulky plugs or bricks, then they're going to be overlapping each other forcing you to either use one outlet or a power strip to power multiple devices. I didn't want to be too harsh on a power ceiling capping out at 300 watts since it is a mid-level power station, but this limits it so much as to what can be connected. Sure you can charge and power devices, but lower entry power stations at 100 wattage already covers that. Since it is capable of powering an entire workstation for an 8 hour shift, then I guess I can't complain too much, but I wish I could handle some appliances as well. With that in mind, after taking everything into account, I considered the River 3 worth looking into. Whether you're working from home and need a UPS backup for your router or PC, or you're just traveling and want off-the-grid power for your devices. It's small, fast to charge, and reliable enough to get you through outages or outdoor sessions. The EcoFlow River 3 normally retails for $239, but during AliExpress's Double Eleven sale in November, you can find it for as low as $140. This is part of the biggest global shopping event of the year, and the deals only come around annually, which is why this is the best time to make your purchase. By using the links in the video's description, alongside the available discount codes, you can stack your savings and unlock some of the best prices not only on the River 3, but on tons of other products across AliExpress. Check it out for yourself and let us know what you think about this power station. And if you already own one, how do you like it and what do you use it for? Also, would this be something that you would recommend to others? With that said, that will conclude my review of the EcoFlow River 3. If you enjoyed this video, please help support our channel by liking and subscribing for more reviews like this. We've got tons of innovative products lined up, so be sure to stay tuned for what's coming next. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time, take care.